there are several fantastic commercial IDE for Angular development today, including IntelliJ. If you're in a Java shop, IntelliJ has uh, great support for TypeScript and Angular. I am referring to IntelliJ Ultimate. The .NET Core version of this, uh, Rider, is also fantastic for Angular development and TypeScript development if you are in a C Sharp .NET Core shop. Now, these are pretty expensive. There is a scale down version of these designed for front end development called WebStorm, and it's a little bit cheaper. However, if you do not want to shell out the cash to buy an IDE for Angular development, one of your options is to use um, Microsoft VS Code. And if you're going to use uh, VS Code, I am going to recommend uh, adding the following plugins uh, or extensions to your VS Code that does not come natively with uh, VS Code to help boost your product, uh, your production, your productivity when you're uh, doing Angular development. Um, I have uh, eleven on my list. Modify as you uh, as you see fit. The first one, of course, is going to be TS Lint because we're using TypeScript for Angular. Okay. The second one is um, called Angular Snippet. I recommend going with the John Papa version of Angular Snippet because if you were going to be using NGRX, uh, which is one of the Redux library for Angular, the NGRX team has integrated their um, snippet with John Papa snippet. So what that gives you is, let's say you're in uh, one of your Redux file, you have the option of uh, of um, these shortcuts for scaffolding out your code, right? And you can name your function. You can tap to tap through there and and finish out your work. So it's a huge it's a huge productivity tool, right? Uh, in addition, it it also has all the normal uh, uh, Angular snippet to help your productivity. And the documentation are all here, so I, I won't waste your time reading through every single one, OK? Uh, let me see here. Actually, these are the, the documentation for the snippet here. How, how you get to these is you just, just click on the um, Angular snippets, uh, the, uh, the uh, plugin or the extension, and, and voila, you have your documentation, all right? Um, the next one is called Angular 2 Switcher. Now, the name Angular 2 is misleading. Uh, but this is worth installing. Um, I'm just going to go that demo really quick. So what Angular 2 Switcher, again, Angular 2 is a misleading name. It works for all versions of Angular. Let's say you're in the, the components TS file, okay, and you want to go to the uh, HTML template. On a Mac, you would uh, press Option Shift and then O, and then it will take you to your template. Okay, uh, and there's uh, other options as well to get to your um, go back to your um, TS file, your spec file, your CSS file, etc. Again, you can read the documentation here. I won't waste your time with that. Okay, um, Angular file. Okay, now Angular comes with a CLI, right, on the command line. Uh, you're ad adverse to using the um, command line. You can install uh, Angular file, and here's the documentation. What it does, it, it will create components, directives, uh, et cetera, et cetera, for you without having to use the command line. You just have to right click on a directory and generate whatever you need to, to get generated without a command line. Um, all right, so that's Angular file. Uh, next is Angular's language service. Angular language service gives you additional um, IntelliSense 
for IntelliSense and auto completion for Angular uh, TypeScript related uh, syntax. Okay, again, it, you can read that documentation here. It's a huge productivity tool. Okay, so that's Angular language servers. You see, the next one is um, not really um, Angular related, but it's a huge uh, productivity tool because VS Code out of the box. Uh, let's not have it. Uh, it's, it's called auto rename tag, and the name is kind of obvious, right? So here's a documentation for that. The next one is also kind of obvious based on its name. It's called the bracket bracket pair colorizer two, the second version, the latest version. Again, the name is kind of uh, kind of you know obvious to as to what it does. So. It's help, helpful to install that huge productivity tool for pattern recognition. Okay. Um, now the next one, the Chrome debugger tool. Now Chrome DevTool comes with its own, uh, but I think that this one integrate with uh, um, VS Code a lot better. Now you can obviously step through the debug in the in the Chrome by its, in the Chrome debugger tool by itself, but this will integrate better with. Uh, with VS Code, and this is all, not the only game in town. There are other uh, debugger available for VS Code as well. So for the time being, this is a pretty good option. All right. So the next one is more with it's another huge productivity tool, but it's not Angular specific. It's called ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. Let me show you what this does quickly. Uh, so again, the documentation how to use this is here. But I'll give you a couple of demo. So if you have to import, let's say, uh, a module, then what you would do is type IMD, okay? And you put whatever module uh, you want in here. Uh, I'll just do a fake one. And then you can tap back to the name. I'll just put bacon in here. And then tap to the end. And if you're a semicolon kind of guy, you can do that, okay? So, and then if you want to just import just import uh, default, do IMP, again, whatever module you want, and then tap back to that, bacon, and then to the end of your, if you, if your team with the semicolons. All right, so that's a huge productivity tool. Uh, again, the name is very misleading, but it's, trust me, it's, it's very useful. Uh, the next one is prettier, okay? Now, prettier, um, prettier do, 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 by this is the prettier by Epson Peterson. This one here. Also, with prettier, uh, obviously it'll beautify your code for you. But what you could do is you can add a .prettier RC file and then uh, install the rules that are particular to your team or to your department. Here, I, I just have a, a simple one with single quote, okay? Um, again, that's prettier. And it's the Epson Peterson, at Espen Peterson version of prettier. And last but not least, it's um, uh, uh, material icon. It helps to recognize, it's basically pattern recognition, right? Uh, it helps you to identify the um, what type of file it is based on the icon. Okay, this different version of this. I'm going with the material uh, file icon version. Again, this is just for aesthetics. All right, that's pretty much it. Hope this is useful. Good luck.